Right, we're out in the garden now. Uh, this is Doris, the flower lady. It's again, it's another one of my homemade whirly gigs. There's not much wind blowing today, but as you can see with the new light propeller, they seem to go round very well indeed. We just go round to the other side and show you what it looks like from all angles, so you know exactly what you're getting. And there she is on the other side, all hand painted with gloss paint, so hopefully it will last ages. All the uh, workings are now done in stainless steel, apart from the wire which is galvanised, but that should still be all okay, so you should get years of use with this in the garden. Right, welcome. Today what I'm going to show you is Doris. Doris the uh, flower lady. As you can see she's a homemade whirly gig made by me. I go under the name of Mr Whirly Gig, just to be different I suppose. It's not my real name obviously. As you can say it's all, uh, it's all homemade, home painted, all cut out on a jigsaw. And it goes round and round like that. It's driven by a, a propeller. Uh, here's a propeller. As you can see, it's one of my homemade propellers. If you've seen uh, the earlier videos I've done, I show you exactly how I make the propellers and uh, how we stick them together, cut them out, and why we do and why I do them this way. They are very light and they work very well. People always ask me, is on, on the mechanism on the end here, as you can see we have the, the, the plate here which we stick all our models on and then we have the hub, it's not the hub, what would you call this bit, the bearing bit, which the propeller bolts onto the end of here and it drives and it goes around like that. We do put, as you can see, we do have bearings in here, little uh, plastic nylon. I'm not sure what they're made out of bearings. There's one that side and one that side. We put uh, shake proof nuts on. Shake proof nut there. This this is a piece of wire which we fit into the end. I will on a later video show you how I actually do make these all up because a lot of people have shown a great a lot of interest on how I make whirly gigs because though I did start making them as a hobby uh, well, they become so popular now, so I tend, tend, to, tend to make maybe two a week, and we sell them on eBay. We only sell them for £25 plus postage and packing. They're on the auction site because you can list them on the auction site for free, where if you do a buy now one, you have to pay an extra for the listing. So that is what you get. It, it will arrive in a box. With the box you will get your like this. You then get your uh, propeller and the propeller fits on the end. We, uh, we just screw that on like that. Just one second and I'll show you how that goes. Oh look we're banging, banging the camera. <laughs> we just screw it on. Let me just see if I can do it that way. There we go. There we are. And we just screw that on there. The hole fits nicely around the threaded thing. It sits on there like that. Okay, and we put a wing nut on the end just to keep it on there nice and tight. On the bottom of it you have the, the main shaft. Again it's a bit of threaded uh, which comes into this bit. It's screwed onto the back. Okay. And then that fits onto the stand. Now the stand is a, is a multi-purpose stand. You can either use the stand, just screw it with the four screws onto, onto the top of a post, a wall, a fence or anything like that. In, in the top we put a washer, which goes in the top there. I can show you, show you on this one here. This is the uh, We 
we put a washer in there similar to that and then the uh, the chest fits in so I haven't got much room here with the tripod in the way and it just fits in there like that and it rotates around so what you can either do with with the stand is you can either fit the stand you can screw it on onto top of a post or on a wall as I say uh, make sure you've got your washer in there then the Wordy gig sits on top of it. If you want to, you can take the. It's only held on with one screw. You can take the uh, the base off. Similar to that, take the base off. So then you've just got the post, and then you can. I haven't drilled them in, but you would have to drill two holes in there. I haven't drilled those because if people don't use it, it's wasted drilling holes. And then you can sort of mount it on the side of uh, a wall or something. Uh, yeah, like that you could then screw it onto the side and let the whirly gook sit, sit, sit on top there. That's, so that's two ways of fitting. The, the other alternative is actually to, uh, if you've got a post in the garden and you don't want to stick one of these posts on the top of the post, uh, you can then just drill the hole in the, uh, in the top of the post, as long as it's flat, put the washer in, stick the washer in as long as you go in at about two inches two and a half inches so it's long enough for the the bolt to go in stick your washer in and you can put it on there so you've got no need for the uh, the post but we always send the post out with people because it uh, it does give you the alternative which way you can fit it so what you actually get we post to you you will get the stand, which is this, and that I come. Let's just screw it up like that. Whether you get this one or a different coloured one, it depends which one I pick up at the time. Uh, you then get the, your whirly gig. This one is, as I say, is Doris. Um, with with the propeller, the propeller won't be on Doris, obviously. Or otherwise we'd need such a big box so we do take the propeller off so all you theoretically have to do when you receive your whirly gig is because it will come in three bits so you'll get the main the whirly gig bit you get the post and I'll put the screws in there so you can fit it to the post and you get your propeller as well so all you have to do as I said earlier on is stick the propeller on the end of the whirly gig do the do the wing nut up on the end put it together, mount the post however you like, whether it's on top, on the side, or in a post, that's that's your choice, okay? Put it in the garden, lo and behold, it will give you years of satisfaction. I've, I've had them in my garden now, well I've been building now for two years, so I've, I've had them in the garden for two years. We do on, uh, I do recommend that you use the magical spray, Every, every household should have a can of WD-40 or its equivalent. Just give the uh, the bits around here a little bit of a spray to try and keep the water off. As I say, the, the wire is galvanised. And, and there you go. That's, that is what you get. You get a uh, hand-built by Mr Whirly Geek here in Spalding in Lincolnshire in my little shed for the grand sum of £25 plus postage and packing. Postage and packing will depend on who you buy it off, whether you buy it off eBay. If you if you come to my house and pick it up then obviously it's only £25 but unfortunately eBay do take a rather large commission so we have to add that on uh, to cover the cost of the postage and for the box and for the packing and to pay their commission. Anyway, thanks for looking. Enjoy your whirly gig. Hope, hope you place an order. If you don't, don't worry. Tell everybody about me. Here I am. I'm in Lincolnshire. I'm retired. This pays for my beer, my food, and keeps my wife happy. Not the money. The fact that I'm in the shed out of the way for most of the day. Thank you very much. Bye.